everybody in Facebook land and on YouTube. My name is Riley Saunders. I'm a village idiot. Thank you very much for joining us. We are live with the Roslyn. We are so pumped that you're here with us. The reason we're all here is because we love Winnipeg. We love music, and we got a heck of a show for you today. I say heck because I don't want to swear, because I know this has got to be PG for everyone out there. Um, this is an interactive rock show. Please click like. Please click share. And please comment. And we might read some comments between songs. And also, if you're on YouTube, please click, click subscribe. And uh, as always, we got to give special thanks to the King's Head Pub. Those guys are an extension of your living room. They are our head partners here live at the Roslyn, and we're so pumped to, to be on Team King's Head. And every single time you ever go to King's Head Pub, if you want to get a cheap shot that gets you really drunk, just tell them that the Village Idiot sent you. They'll give you the Village Idiot shot special, and... Uh, yeah, it'll be a great night. Anyway, we're going to kick it to the theme song, but next we have Indian City. Go, Kev. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you Indian City, live at the Roslyn. Thank you. 
Awesome, awesome. Facebook and friends, thank you so much. Indian City here in the village, in Osborne Village, Winnipeg, Canada, the world. Well, how are you doing, Rena? I'm Hello. doing very well. How are you, Vince? I'm very well. I am Vince. This is Rena, and this is uh, Indian City. We're going to get to them as we carry on. So, we got a song here, Tree of Life. Everybody watching at home, you are watching Indian City live at the Roslyn. Thank you very much for joining us. This is an interactive rock show. Please click like, 
please click share. And if you have any comments for the band, we'll read them out possibly between songs or they'll see them later. First and foremost, Vince, how you doing, my man? Hey, well, hello, hello, hello. How are you? How Good. are you? And how are you? <laughs> Can you please introduce everybody in the band that's Hi with everybody. you? everybody. Okay, let's start. Okay, so joining us center stage right now, he's going to sing the next oh. couple of songs, Mr. Jeremy Cause. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All the way from Elmwood. Any people from Elmwood? Oh, okay, that's not that far. Oh, big stretch. Right beside me, uh, my immediate left, Mr. Spatch Lawrence Mulhall. Here we are, here he is. Yeah, yeah. He's from St. Vitale. A little further. All right. Now you have to know everyone. Well, he always says he's from Toronto, but he hasn't really been there in like, what, 23 years. <laughs> we've, we've got a bit of a reunion going on with our crowd here. There's Spatch and I back to the club days in Winnipeg, which of course we all know was fabulous, right? The live scene. And this is awesome, right? We're 2018, yeah. we're doing this live stuff here and it's being shared with, with actually the world, right? Yeah. So this is the coolest, I am just so happy about that. So, let's carry on here. Our very good friend, Mr. Jay Bodner. Woo. Woo. Uh, he lives on the river. He's got a river property. But, uh, Mr. Jay Bodner, yes. Under the bridge. Yeah, under the bridge. <laughs> right, right in the backside there in the Cajon, that's uh, Mr. Rich Reed. Mr. Rich Reed. <laughs> on, uh, on vocals there, Miss Niwa Mason. One of the... Uh, now, now, Niwa is, is one of the original founding members of Indian City, and we'll, we'll chat a bit about uh, some of the brief history and how we got going about six years ago, because uh, we have a lot of talent in this town, and it was, it was kind of a cool job to pick and kind of draft people into this new real fold of Indian City. People say, well, how'd you come up with that name? We'll talk about that after, too. <laughs> so so on the lead vocals, I just just did an incredible job on uh, one of my favorite Indian City tunes on the track, Tree of Life. That's uh, Rina Semenko. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she'll be making an appearance again on this vocal. Miss Gabrielle Fontaine will say hello to her later. So, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and everybody watching at home, like we said, this is an interactive rock show. Spread the love, but sit back, relax, enjoy these soothing sounds. And we want, we're going to give a couple shout-outs along the way. First and foremost right now, the weed is legal in Winnipeg, and Delta 9 Cannabis is a proud partner of Live at the Roslyn. <laughs> and everybody, everybody who's sitting at home, they do deliver. And their delivery is called Pineapple Express. A lot of people don't realize that. They will bring this right to you. And uh, another special shout-out to Quest Music. Quest Music is, is, a, is a Winnipeg born and bred company. Please support Winnipeg companies like that. They support Winnipeg musicians all around Winnipeg. They got two locations in Winnipeg. And uh, we're going to talk some more about the things we have going on. But you guys just want to take it away and play another beautiful song. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. So, um, what do we got up here, Jeremy? What do we got? Uh, Five thousand miles. And uh, why is it not four thousand? <laughs> and why is it five thousand? What are we going to sing about? Uh, just yeah. Basically, uh, it's the um, this totem pole that traveled to a lot of the movements in the uh, the fight against uh, fossil fuel expansion. And uh, when it was had its resting place here in, in Manitoba, uh, it was said that it had traveled five thousand miles by going into all these uh, different movements. So. Titled the track after that, but really the song's about change and, and, and always wanting change, even though our um, fight might not see that it, it's, it's doing any good sometimes, but most of the, a lot of times it is. So never, never giving up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we, we had a cool gig uh, last week, uh, Rena, Jeremy, and I. We, we did a David Suzuki. With yeah. we, we did a gig in, in Banff. It was a conference on environmental change and some of the challenges, right? And so uh, we got to hear uh, David Suzuki, who. Uh, Later on that day, joined the band. But he can't <laughs> yeah. make it. It's, it's true. Moment, it's on Facebook. There's pictures. But, anyways, um, you know, the whole idea he was played that tambourine. The, the whole thing about this song, Five Thousand Miles, is the fact that we want to be on the lookout. We really want to be on the lookout for the next generation, right? It's all about climate change and that kind of stuff. And this um, totem pole that actually traveled was gifted by a, by a, a northeast uh, coastal um, indigenous group from from uh, BC. And so they sent it, and it traveled to Standing Rock, and it ended up actually in Sagin First Nation, which mm, is where Treaty we're from. One territory, yeah. Yeah, Treaty One territory. So, five thousand miles. Many men they knew 
spoken prophecy Energy rulers Who give sovereignty Keep praying for burial grounds By the hour so Too many distractions Young shine like the road Thought I don't know more Told him for me Everybody watching at home, you are watching Indian City live at the Roslyn. As we did say, this is an interactive rock show. Thanks to everyone who's clicked like and clicked share. We're almost at 100 shares. We got to get over 100 right now, and we're going to tell you what you're going to get. Somebody is going to win two, actually, we're going to give away two pairs to Stars. Winnipeg Folk, uh, Folk Fest presents Stars at the Garrick Center. So we're going to give away two pairs to somebody who shares, and also we're going to give away a $50 gift certificate to see Brenna at Prep Hair. So if you want to get your hair done, then please share. And uh, this is going to be a night of storytelling. We want to learn the rich history of this band, and so we're going to have some talking. We're going to have some playing. Leave some comments if you want them read out uh, throughout songs. We're going to do that a little bit later. Uh, but Vince, if you're ready... Tell us, a <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about the story of yourself, the band, and, uh, and what you're all about. Well, as I was saying, uh, you know, we're pretty proud that we come from Winnipeg and we have a great music history and music community. And um, so folks like myself and everybody on stage here, we, we kind of grew up cutting our teeth playing music in some of the clubs here. And our good friend Pam, and uh, we played in clubs downtown and traveled across... Uh, the prairies all over the place and um, so we kind of learned our, uh, our craft learned how to play a couple of chords in that uh, so I'll tell you how this kind of this uh, indigenous uh, vehicle ish if we want to call it that 
It just came on uh, on the heels of a conviction back in the, I guess, what was it, the uh, early 90s. Anybody born in the early 90s? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there was a thing going on in Canada. It was the uh, it was the Oka crisis, which was a turning point in Canadian history. <coughs> and it, um, I think it kind of lit a fire amongst the uh, indigenous people in, in Canada. That was one of the, one of the turning points. And um, for me, it was the same thing. And my good friend Spatch, uh, you remember the early days where we'd be traveling across, going to some of the clubs, and uh, we'd see teepees set up uh, because they were trying to support what was going on, right? And uh, so it was that idea to kind of create music as a vehicle for some of our, our strong ideas, right? So anyways, that was kind of a, the early days. And jump ahead to like 2011, 2012. And uh, as I was saying, there was so much talent to kind of choose from. And uh, I was kind of watching TV one day. And <coughs> there's this guy with this great big voice. And he's singing at the Forks, right? <coughs> so I um, kind of inquired who this guy was. It, his name was William Prince. <laughs> so yeah. William Prince. Oh, yeah. So I, I decided I, I gotta give this guy a call. And so we were. I thought we're gonna start a new band. I'm gonna start a new band, and I'm gonna draft a few people. So called up Donna Merrow and William Prince and Pamela Davis and Neil Mason and Tick, and we kind of started. Um, I guess the uh, first version of Indian City, and uh, kind of came out of the gate with some kind of cool ideas, cool tunes, and the next song we're gonna play that Jeremy's gonna sing was one of the first songs that was written, and it was called Stand. And Stand um, was actually written as a direct uh, response to the Idle No More movement. And there was so much more to Idle No More than just protesting and beating our drums. It was about what was happening in Canada. And so, <coughs> and it was about environmental issues, which we're all part of, all of these things, all these things that are Canadian, actually. And, but we wanted to say them from an Indigenous voice, right? So. Anyways, the song stand, which uh, Jeremy will take over. Okay. And we love. Oh. There's a party going on back there. Torque, I heard. Okay.
everybody at home. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jeremy Cos. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Kimmy Everybody at home, you're watching Indian City Live with Roslyn. And a few people at home said that they couldn't quite hear Vince on the microphone. Okay. So if it's Evan or if it's Vince needs to yell in hello. <laughs> but uh, Evan, just make sure he's hello, he up there. Hello, <laughs> Roslyn. Uh, it's a little hard to communicate. It's loud in here, Getting everybody. Getting dizzy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you are watching the Interactive rock, rock Show. Thank you so much to everybody who's clicked like, who's clicked share. And the comments, the band will all see later. So make sure you comment. And right now, Vince, we want to know a little bit more about the new album, where we can find it, and how it came about. Okay. Well, first of all, let me just... Uh, one more time for Jeremy Cause on stand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I wrote that song with Mr. Don Amaro. He's uh, got a new album as well. He's an uh, Indian City alumni. And Rena Semenko on the wonderful piano on the outro, a little wonderful stuff. Um, we had a cool gig a couple of years ago, and it leads into the the whole album. Um, we got a call to uh, we got a call to play Canada in Ottawa. So I was like, no, 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 can't do it. No, no. Actually, we did get a call to uh, play Canada in 2015, and um, for some reason, about uh, six weeks before the. July 1st, uh, we got pulled off the program. I don't know why. I don't know if it had anything to do with the government of the day or what. They, they didn't really have any indigenous programming in those days. So anyway, so the next year, uh, they had a new change of government, and uh, they, they gave a call in the early part of the year, and of course, the whole red tape of it all takes months to get it finally confirmed. So they said, okay, you guys are going to play Canada Day, and now let's hear some of your songs. They want to hear all the songs. They want it. They want to see the lyrics. They want to make sure you're not going to say something on TV, all that kind of stuff. It was interesting. So um, Jay and I were in the studio, and we were already talking about a new album. And uh, where did Jay go? Oh, he's there. <laughs> Hello, Jay. I think we just got a delivery that I have to get. Yeah, he got a delivery, yeah. <laughs> Pizza? No, pineapple. Just kidding. Delta 9 Cannabis. Yes. Pineapple is my safe. So we got the call to play Canada in, in Ottawa uh, for, for the people of Canada and the Prime Minister and that, which was awesome. It was a great honor. And uh, so we did that. And uh, we had this song we wrote called Here and Now, which we, was really about uh, Canada in that moment, Here and Now. And um, so Jay and I wrote it and uh, we got to play it with a couple of other tunes and including the last one, Stand, which was really awesome. So say hello to Jay. The extra... Uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, the extra super cool thing about this song is that I have successfully rhymed. There's, I'm sure there's lots of artists and songwriters, musicians, judging by the haircuts in here, we're all in the same. <laughs> we, all, we all play for the same team. Uh, I'll have you know that I successfully, you are, we can talk about this after, you can congratulate me after, but I did successfully rhyme orange um, in a song. We should do a little forum, I think. Uh, you know, like a thumbs up if you think that he actually rhymed with oh. orange, or Niwa. it's like, okay, we're gonna have to listen out. for it, that's for Niwa sure. and her, maybe a grumpy face. Niwa and uh, her brother Tick, who's also a member of this band, have been riding me relentlessly, that orange. claiming that I have not rhymed orange, but I have. We'll be the judge. You can pat me on the back later. Here's a song uh, called Here and Now. Chase. 
at home that was jay on vocals and you are watching indian city live at the roslyn right now we're going to take a quick second to shout out our whole team who makes all this stuff happen behind the scenes right across from me we have mike osakoya from visual soul studios he's been with us right from the start we absolutely love him he does amazing work check out visual soul studios right beside me we got one of the new guys kevin moretz he is making something uh, called Quest Music's Life at the Roslyn. It's a docu-series released every Monday at noon. Make sure you check it out. And right behind him, we have Joey Senf from J Senf Photography. She is the hardest working person in the music industry. If you ever want to see her, check her out in the front row of every single rock show around. And she's also going to release some uh, photos every single week called the Delta 9 Highlights of the Week. And of course, Highlights of the Week, exactly as you read it. And uh, right beside her, another new guy who's done a lot of shows with us, though, Atom Jaman, who is the man. And he's doing lights for us on every Live at the Roslyn episode. And right beside him, the idiot himself, producer extraordinaire. His name is Kevin Repe. <laughs> and then over here behind doing the sound for the night, it's the birthday boy. His name is Evan St. Cyr, and he has a studio called Arcade Studios in Niverville. It's a family-run studio, and it's an amazing, amazing place. If any bands ever need a place, go check out Arcade Studios. I'm telling you, it's amazing. All right. And now, 
And right back to the show here. So again, this is an interactive rock show for everyone who clicked like and share. Thank you so much. For everyone who didn't, Vince, what do you got to say to that, man? <laughs> Come on, guys and gals. Listen, actually, why don't, why don't we see if anybody has any questions and maybe we kind of get a couple going on. We'll take a couple of minutes. But what I want to do in the meantime is uh, the next song we're going to do, I want to introduce Gabrielle Fontaine. Uh, she's got the same last name as me. Oh. He's my father. wonder why. If you couldn't guess. And I got a question for the band real quick. Does anyone need a torque? Shame on me for not asking a little bit sooner. Yeah. It's going to be a magic beer out of the bag, and I don't know what it's going to be, but anybody else need a torque? We have a couple torques needed, a couple torques needed. And everybody at home, make sure you're grabbing a torque. Gabrielle needs a torque right before singing this beautiful song. We need another torque. Torque is getting their mentions right now, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, take it away. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, we are going to, uh, we're going to shift gears uh, to a bit of a serious issue on this uh, next song that we actually uh, put on the track on the album. Uh, the whole album here and now is what we mentioned. It was part of the whole experience of arriving at 2017, kind of that timeline moment, right, in Canada's 150, and the Indigenous uh, perspective, which wasn't really great that some of you folks may have heard about uh, residential schools and uh, missing and murdered um, Indigenous women and girls. Um, so these are some of the issues we had in 150 years. We're um, moving ahead with the rest of Canada that we want to have a better next 150 years. And uh, well, we did have to write a song. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, w but one of the most tragic issues that's happening um, in many parts of the world is violence against uh, women and domestic violence. Of course, in Canada, there's uh, over 1,200 missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls, and it's a very sad issue that uh, we want to put a stop to. Uh, we wrote a song called Through the Flood, and it's, um, it's just giving awareness to that issue. And Gabrielle, my daughter, by the way, uh, she had a co-write in this song, and she's going to sing it. So um, this is a song called Through the Flood.
All right, everybody at home, you have been watching Indian City Live with the Roslyn. And at this point, I know nobody wants to hear me keep talking. So Vince, I'm going to let you and the band take over from here on out. You tell the world what you want to tell them. All right. Do what you do. Okay. We're going to do a song. Uh, what are we doing here? Speak to me in dreams. Speak to me in dreams. Who had a dream last night? Everybody? Who remembers it? Kind of. <laughs> That's the problem with dreams, right? They're so real. So we had to write a song about that. It goes like this.
I know that I know I said uh, I wouldn't talk too much more, but we have a couple comments and a question for people at home, and then we'll let you keep going there. Right. So uh, first and foremost, a comment from Jerry St. Cyr, Evan's father, actually says big shout out to Vince, an old companion of mine that used to play in a band together many moons ago. In the sixties, right? In, I don't <laughs> Just know kidding. how long ago. <laughs> but he hey said, Jerry, how are you, my friend? The great said, the yeah. great uh, he had a song called The Great The Great Throne Judgment. Yeah, it was a good one. Right on. I, play, I, played, I played lead on it. Nice. And he says, you guys are sounding great. Justin Godry says, you're sounding great. And Mich uh, Atik Mason. Oh, he's in. We miss you. He's sending big hugs all the way from Moncton, New Brunswick. Oh, Tiki. So he says he's, he's sending Hi, the love. Tick. And Michelle Bergen has a question for you, then I'll let you continue on. Okay. She just says, uh, Here and Now was released in 2017. When can we expect a new album for Indian City? Oh, boy. Um, that's a good question. Probably uh, 2019 or 2020. Yeah, soon. We're always we're always writing, so that's the thing, right? So typically, I think in a in a in a group's uh, momentum, they try and do something every two years. So right on. We'll take yeah. it away. Keep going. All right, we got another song here. Uh, it's going to feature Jeremy and Rena, and it goes like this. Feeling like a world at last, like I was someone else. Couldn't stop my racing mind. Tried to run, I tried to hide. All alone was all I felt. Made myself a promise that when the darkness got too bad, when I couldn't find a home, I realized that I am not the only one that I have got. No, I'm not.
And I'm going to let the band we're keep it switch. going from here. Yeah, we're going to do a duet called Duet. Do it. <laughs> just, just do it. Do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, you can dance to this. Just saying. down with every word tell you to pieces in the same breath that bleeding for my life just digging deeper feeling spot when it was neither who was right give me a chance to walk away with all my pride I just can't do it do it come on let's do it do it get close and get through it do it Be superstars. That song was uh, was co-written with uh, Mr. Chris Bergafney and uh, Mr. William Prince and Miss Pamela Davis. One of my faves. Well, they're all faves, but that one for sure. 
So I think we just got one more here. Yeah, I know it's it's like it's already after uh, it's after. I mean, we can play longer. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you guys having fun or what? Yeah. Whoa. So, uh, uh, so, since this is like uh, interactive, uh, we're gonna teach you this this part real quick. Are you, are you guys gonna? You're okay to sing a part? Yeah. We're now becoming a Okay, so this is gonna be you. Maybe <laughs> Facebook land can uh, uh, join in, but for now, this is for you guys. Okay, it's very simple. It's just like. Oh 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 so that's gonna come in like two times. I'll give you like the one of those. And uh, I'm just gonna take a plug torque real quick. I'm just gonna take one last sip. Which one are you drinking, Jay? I don't even know. What the hell can I Are we doing good on there? Is it coming along? Yeah, people are digging it. Uh, so this is a love song. It's a love song about... Uh, well, not letting go. I can't even tell you this story, but uh, this is indeed a love song. Uh, it's kind of about like I'm not going to swear, but uh, yeah, effing up, and then uh, putting putting your efforts into in, into what you got at home, right? Uh, I know in those all the rock and roll business right now. There's all these distractions and and it's a vicious uh, game. It's a rock and roll is a vicious game. But uh, about putting. Putting, putting your efforts and your time in, into what you got at home. And then you guys got the uh-ohs later, okay? And so for like the middle uh-oh, when it's your time to come in, it's going to be all like dramatic, right? With feeling. With feeling, yeah. okay, right? So there's a song called uh, Not Letting Go. It's capoed on two if you're playing along in the kitchen. <laughs> all right, here. Just thinking out loud there, eh? I'm 
have a long running endless love affair I've done all that I can I'm through all the hurt and the pain uh oh You sound so beautiful. One more time. after one more song. You guys gonna give us one more song? Yes. All right, and we just wanna give a quick shout out, of course, to Indian City. Everybody give it up for Indian City. And as always, every single week, the encore is brought to you by the Merchant Selkirk. They're an amazing music venue. If you're any band in Winnipeg and you wanna stretch outside of Winnipeg, go check them out at Selkirk. You're home for live music in Selkirk. Those guys are amazing. And next week, and if you wanna watch all these videos, we've done 55, they're all on our Facebook page, they're all on our YouTube page, but next week we have the Mariachi Ghost. Give it up. <laughs> Give it up one more time for Indian City. Oh, man, this is like so awesome, but so weird because we like know nobody here. Um, well, my daughter's here. But that's about all I know. Uh, well, Pamela, Pamela, you know, we know Pamela here. But thank you so much for uh, letting us come and invade your... We were going to talk about this, but back in the 90s, when, I used to, uh, when we used to be kings, back in the 90s, there was several parties in this very sweet... I said it was the building, but it's actually this very sweet. Around the ages of like 21 to 24, uh, we would stack home from the zoo or the, the pyramid, and we would often end up here. We had some pals living in this place. We would sneak up to the roof with uh, those things that get delivered. Delta 9. Delta 9. Delta 9. And uh, Pizza. this Pizza. was, when we were 20s, we ruled this, uh, this, this land, this village, <laughs> Osborne Village. And so it's so really, really awesome. It's, what a special thing that you guys are putting on. It's now part of uh, Winnipeg rock and roll history, really, man. Like, there's no bigger uh, Winnipeg music fan than me. So kudos, kudos to the Village Idiots and live at the Roslyn. Hello, Roslyn. Cheers to live music and cheers, cheers to you, uh, you young whippersnappers still supporting live, live music. Uh, we'll also just take a quick second to say tomorrow, some of Indian City is also playing at the St. Norbert's Art Center. Um, and Jeremy's going to come out and do some stuff with us too. And Sandra Sutter from Calgary? Calgary? Suter? Sorry, Suter. <laughs> I haven't met her yet. <laughs> Please don't fire me. Um, uh, is going to also be coming to do some songs with us too. So St. Norbert Art Center. Come see us tomorrow at 7 o'clock. I guess I'm not doing that gig because I didn't know about that. But. Um, <laughs> oh, you can uh, come too. Uh, it's too late. <laughs> no. Good save. Uh, there's also this wildly famous band in Winnipeg called Eagle and Hawk. Um, oh, st st 
stop that. Uh, those old codgers are putting on their 20th anniversary show next Wednesday at the West End Cultural Center. Uh, 20 years? It's, it's, it's actually 22. We have, do we have free tickets? Yes, we do. We have free tickets, so I don't know. How does this work? Someone who shares this podcast. Is, is this called a podcast? I'm so old. Whoever's hashtag. Say, share this with hashtag Indian City. Oh, ladies, bad. Uh, we got, uh, what, four tickets, two tickets? What do we got? Four tickets to uh, uh, the amazingly talented Eaglin Hawk show next week at the Western Cultural Center. This is a song. Uh, thank you again for having us. This is just crazy. Uh, I haven't had two beers on a Wednesday in a long time. Um, uh, Torque beers. My daughter's staring at me like completely unamused. It's crazy. Here's a song called Super Nation. <laughs>
Everybody, you have been watching Indian City live at the Roslyn. Make sure you check them out. Thank you so much for joining us. We do this every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. and they're on YouTube every single Thursday. Give it up one more time. Thank you. Give it up for the Village Idiot.